power and fearlessness is some of the words we use to describe the word boss chick. And today on Diva TV, we are featuring some of the top boss chicks in Chicago. And I'm so excited to bring to you a special boss chick right here in our very hometown. Her name is Peyton Wilburn. Yes, the very ex-wife and the one that helped build the Wilbur Empire. You know who I'm talking about. Our very own comedian, radio host, Chicago's very own, Mr. George Wilbur, his ex-wife. She helped him build this empire, and I want to be able to do a nice show for her today. Ladies, I want you to grab your pen and pop open a pop and sit back and get some tips on what it's like to be a boss chick. Now, whether you're kicking up your red bottom heels or you're signing a check, or even fire an unemployed. When a boss chick walks in the door, everybody moves out the way. So today, that's what brings me here. Right here, the Truth Restaurant. You see this restaurant? It's owned solely by our boss chick. She owns this restaurant. She has her own reality show coming up. And not to mention a teenager that's an athlete that's about to get a basketball deal. I mean, she puts the very meaning of being a boss chick right in the real life. So I want y'all to sit back, relax, and watch our special episode of Boss Chicks with your girl Mercedes Millionaire on Diva TV. And please check out our website at www.divatvmagazine.com. You inspired me last night, Jennifer Holiday. You guys was at the Monique Show, and I just want you all to just say your names and give a drop for Diva TV. And Diva TV. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hi, I'm Taraji P. Henson, and you're watching Diva TV. And ditto, this is Terrence Howard. <laughs> What did you do with your first big, fat, juicy check, girl? Girl, I saved it. I'm saving it. I have kids. I'm trying to put them to college. So, you know, I saved it, and then I splurged on these Christian Louboutins. You know. Oh, them are very nice. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What did you do with your first big check, and how did you invest your money? Oh, what did I do with my first? I bought a nice bed. <laughs> you got to invest your money. You have to. Secret. I want to know, what did you do with your first big check, and how did you invest some of your money? I put all $85 into a Bank of America account. Have it. Still have the 85. That was 27 years ago. I have $93 right now. What did you do with your first big check and how did you invest it? <laughs> My first big check. I actually, I still got money off of that. I still got money off that first check. Oh, you are very wise. The first thing I did was when I bought an acoustic guitar. Good job. This is Dwelle coming to you live from the Soul Train Music Awards right here on Diva TV Magazine. Make sure y'all keep it locked, people. <laughs> Welcome to Diva TV. I got Mr. George Wilburn and this beautiful wife. Yes, my beautiful you wife. You fancy, huh? She fancy, huh? She fancy, huh? She fancy, huh? <laughs> we'll be right back with our interview with Miss Peyton Wilburn. What's up, what I saw that? This is your African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. Right now, you're watching Diva TV. You need to keep watching it. It's where the divas come. Look, I'm a diva. Shut up. Kiss my eyes. I know what you're thinking. I am a diva. Shut up. If you're not following me on social media, you need to get your life together. My Instagram is at Michael Blackson. My Twitter is at Michael Blackson. My Facebook is at Michael Blackson. If you went to a public school and you can't spell, it's M-I-C-H-A-E-L-B-L-A-C-K-S-O-A. I'm going to I'm all over the place. I even got an app that's out. My app is, guess what? Michael Blackson. Okay? I did a show this, this um, spring called Live With Funny on Oxygen. If you didn't see it, get your life together. I was in a movie with Mike Epps called Meet the Blacks. If you didn't see that, get your cable fixed. Get your life together again. <laughs> I'm working on my own movie called Washed Up. Coming up real soon. A new reality sitcom coming up. I've got a whole bunch of stuff coming on. You know, I'm just trying to get to that next level. I'm touring the whole country. I'm touring the world. What are you doing with yourself? Tell me, please. Because I'm doing a lot of stuff. You know why? Because I get jiggy with Diva TV. Watch the... Watch Diva TV and you might get your life together. How about that? I'm about to go on stage, okay? Get out of my face. What are you looking at? Get away from me. I Welcome to Diva TV. I told y'all we was going to bring the number one boss chick in the shot town. And that's what I did for you, Mrs. Thank you. Peyton Wilburn, the one that helped build that Wilburn empire. I'm talking about you, George. I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? Now listen. Me and you have ended up being cool friends. Over three years of time, I met you at the Soul Train Awards. You and did. when I saw you, we instantly had a connection. We were singing fancy. We're going to show y'all the clip, too. Check it out. But then I found out y'all broke up. Girl, what happened? Now, you know, I, don't know, I normally don't be nosy. But y'all gave me a beautiful interview. He said you was his best friend. Y'all been exactly. together forever. I know. forever. I know. 
you since helped fourth me. grade, we were friends. Since, oh my God. Since fourth grade, and we were married on those 20 years. Wow, and that's a very long two beautiful, time. Two, two beautiful kids. I know, they so, so adorable. What, what happened? Tell me. You said I can ask. Substance, you know I know. Substance abuse. What? I'm, oh. I'm going to keep it real. Okay. <laughs> Everything did, did. Hey, you picked a good, beautiful wife. He's Absolutely. always talking about you on the radio. He so said, great. I remember when he said, my wife, she's so private. I'll never know when she's doing, you know, she's just such a beautiful lady. It's my best friend. Yeah, yeah. It's been 18 wonderful years, you know, so I married, my, I married my best friend. And so it's nothing like sharing moments like this with somebody who's been in the, in the trenches with you, trying to make you help, trying to make it happen with you. Oh, that's what's up. I'm getting yeah. goosebumps. <laughs> so what's your latest project? I know you My latest project is called um, How They Living. Uh, ain't no joke. It's uh, actually a, um, a brainchild of my wife and I. As we we bought a, a web magazine, howtheyliving.com. Uh -huh. And uh, actually some people, uh, some very influential people are, are sitting down and talking to us about constructing it and, and turning it into a television show. And well, we already speak it right now in Jesus' name. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, you so, believe it, you can so, achieve it. So go on to uh, howtheyliving.com and see some exclusive interviews that I've done with uh, people like Monique and Rhonda Mack, Bernie Mack's wife, and Judge oh, okay. Judge Greg Mathis. We yeah. sit down and, and just uh, really chop it friend. up. Yeah, yeah. I want to so, be a I mean, guest on your show. I would love to. Okay, I would love well, I to. Well, man, okay. All right, what? Anyway, moving this forward. This is nothing that you can't Google for yourself. I'm not here to bash George or anything. No, I love George. That's my add, boy. But I'm going to answer the question. Truthfully. Okay. The name of my That's restaurant why we is called what? The Truth, baby. Truth Italian Restaurant in uh, Bronzeville, Chicago. Okay, so I, I wasn't expecting that answer, so, yeah. so you kind of blew me back with that. Okay, but moving on, all the things that you're doing right now, I know that was hard. You've been with it this man for years. It was very hard. It was very difficult. It was one of the most difficult parts of my mm. life was to finally get to that moment where I had to let it go. Wow. I walked away from it all. What? You know, some women, they, mm. they, they stay because of the kids or financial reasons mm -hmm. or something, you know, things like that. But I, I mean, I believe in the man above, which his name is Jehovah God. Amen. I do too. And um, he said he got me. He said, you know, live your life. This is not dress rehearsal here. I was not made up uh, from the from the from the earth of George Wilborn. That's right. You know, so I made that decision three years ago. It's been three so years. So it happened right after I seen y'all. Yes. Oh we, was, we was going through things then, but you know how you pray about it, and, mm -hmm. you know, they say a family that prays stay, that's not always true, you know. It, mm -hmm. it takes both to have to pray at the same time, or both prayers have to mean it at the same time. I can't be praying, and then he praying about what he trying to do, however, get this prayer over with, you know. And I dealt with it the whole marriage. I know he missed you, honey. And hey, you know, I ain't trying to TV, Mr. Harvey. I want to welcome you and your beautiful wife on my show. And the question I wanted to ask you today was, what advice do you want to give to women that would love to maybe find and land a beautiful man like you, you know, for a husband? Because I love your book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. I mean, you got me really strong here. So what's the best advice you can give ladies to land? Man? Yeah, you ought to ask her. What, you what she did was, you tell her how you did it. Cause I just didn't take anything that I didn't need to be taken from him. Wow. And your career is, is skyrocketing. I want to congratulate you on everything that you're doing, your accolades. So I just want to find out what else you got coming up. Well, first of all, God is in the blessing business. So I'm a recipient of his blessings, his grace. That's all I am. And I, the, the more you can acknowledge that, the more room you open up for more things to happen. But God is good. The new show on Centric, the Steve Harvey Project, I finally got somebody to understand that my radio show should be a TV show. That's, that's working out. And then the new book comes out December 7th. Oh, tell us, what's the name of it? Uh, straight, straight Talk, No Chaser, How to Find, Keep, and Understand a Man. Oh, man, I'm going to be the first one to do that. Trust me. 
Well, thank you so much for being a guest on Diva TV. May God continue to shine on both of you, and God bless. Okay, but you know what I'm very proud of you about Thank that you, you made it through. Thank you. Because that is very difficult. It, it was to be with some. I couldn't even phantom being with somebody that long. I probably would have stayed. Me, yeah. but the, it took a strong black woman. It That's did. why you are our featured boss chick today. Because Man, thank you. being a boss chick is more than just being somebody's boss or signing somebody's check or rocking some red bottom. That's true. You take care of a family. Now you running a full line Italian restaurant. And from what I heard, Rodney say you about to make it three levels. Yeah. You got the, the lobster and steak. Now you know I love me some yeah. lobster and steak. That's I'll be, be on here. The second floor. I'll be here. We can put it in my pocket. But what made you think of this type of beautiful restaurant? It's sexy, it's sensuous, the food is so delicious and melts in your mouth. I see multiple cultures here. Indians, Caucasians, African Americans, they all around. Yeah. I um, love it. This is awesome. I'm, I'm coming here every week. Yeah, thank you for that. You know, we as a culture believe that all we need to eat is, or what we used to go into is macaroni and cheese and string beans. Mm -hmm. There are other things uh, that we should be tasting. Italian, Vietnamese, I ain't going to say about the other culture, but I don't okay. eat <laughs> but Vietnamese I will eat. Okay. Um, and I love Italian food. So I said, you know, when I, when I opened up my restaurant, I'm going to do Italian. So I, what, what I did was I hired Italian chefs. People ask me all the time, wow. do, you, do you cook? No, I don't. I hired Italian chefs to cook for you. But you know I've been taste to a that, lot taste, of... Taste that bruschetta right Okay, quick. let me taste it. Let me taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't that good? This is good. That bruschetta is mm -hmm. the bomb. That's mm -hmm. our number one appetizer. Mmm, that's good. Now, how much is something like this for everyday customers? Uh, let me see. Let's, mm. look, let's look at the menu here. Bruschetta now, is... Now, I saw that menu. It's not even bad for no, the prices. No, the highest thing on here is like $25. $14. So, no, $25 mm -hmm. in the entrees. Mm. That's red snapper and um, steak. Mm -hmm. That's still more than any other steak you can get. But the bruschetta is uh, seven dollars, and you see, you get what? Uh, what's that? Eight pieces of so six good. pieces. Ain't mm -hmm. that good? So we have a great menu here, and if you can't afford to spend twenty five dollars, or you're too cheap to spend twenty five dollars on you yourself, treat yourself to I something do not work every day, all day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. My assistant brought me. Can you fix the TVs for me? So what made you want to get a restaurant? You know, I did hair for 32 years. You know, I did all oh, That's why your hair always so fly. And you know what? I did nails for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So we come up in that beauty shop. Uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. And we both went to Simeon. Yeah. Hey. And so I did all the TV shows, like the park, because my wife and kids. For real? Yes, I did all the hair for the shows. Oh, my God. I didn't yeah, know we that did in California. California. Yeah. And then from there, I came back home, and I opened up three daycare centers, which I still have. Yeah. I think I heard about the daycare centers. I have three of them. And, uh, so I, I need a daycare. My baby, 19 months. My old butt didn't have a baby girl. That's why you be here in the background. Shoot me in the head for that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I made it through, Lord. Yeah. I made it through. Tell me this. Was it hard to get this restaurant? Like, yeah. is it hard? Absolutely. It's so it perfect. It's, everything is like in place. It's very, it's very difficult. I promise you, I'm not even trying to like me on her job. This restaurant is off the chain. It's sexy. It's really seductive. The food is delicious. You must check out Truth Italian Restaurant on 39th and Persian Road, right here in Chicago in the Bronzeville area. You better be there, be square. It's I'm a, coming. It's, it's the best in the West. It's delicious. The Midwest, honey. 56 East Persian Road. That's 39th and Washington. Wabash. It's between Michigan and Wabash. It's right there next door to the State Farm Place. At the brand right across new, the street from the Chicago Fire House. It's White a brand house. new brick building. You but can't miss it with the cute little lips on the truth. That is so cute. I love it. I love it. And that People ask me all the time, mm -hmm. why you don't have the traditional logos and stuff like that? Why? Why do we have to have a tradition? Why? We should be able to this think out the box. Absolutely. That's true. Mm -hmm. This is 2016. You're so smart. Why do I have to be the traditional stuffy, high back red chairs mm -hmm. with bread on the table? No, no, no. That's old time. So who designed the place? I you did. Me and my uncle. I did. You're so bad, man. George, you better get your wife back. I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay, anyway. Wait, we're going to stop getting those. George, up. you can't get your wife back. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, George. She, I, you should see this booty, y'all. Dang. And I ain't even gay. Y'all know the diva ain't gay. But listen, let me tell you something. 
can you give us some tips on being a boss chick? Because, you know, sisters need to be uplifted. We need to stop hating on one another yeah, and uplift each other. I am so sick and tired of you sleazy sluts always trying to hate, always trying to take our man behind or do what you do. Why don't you get your own thing and yeah. be encouraged by a sister like this? Be encouraged by a sister like me. Absolutely. You know what I mean? You're stop beautiful. tripping. Yeah. And you are too. So tell me, what you give us some tips about being a boss chick. It ain't easy. You said the number one thing. Stop hating on each other. Mm -hmm. Come together. Support. Tell another girlfriend. You know, because my place is full of men. I, I know. We just ain't a fine man. I, wait, don't wait. No. I'll come. Let all the men come. They want to have all to myself. Absolutely. Because we just see the couple, find, even Rodney fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's, my, that's my sweetie. I have, to, I have to jump on the bus. That's he, okay. He keeps, he keeps me He's together. mannerable and nice looking and yeah. tall and sexy. He yeah. got the gray hairs. I like that. And his beard nice. Uh-huh. Look, he got the swag. <laughs> Look at <laughs> So did it take a long time? I mean, you still build it other levels. I'm still, yeah, because I like to do things in, in stages. Because when you do things quickly, then you become bored, and then you become an old fool mm -hmm. and doing things. So that's wisdom. And doing things, us. Yeah, absolutely, doing things that you don't want to do. So that's definitely one step of being a boss chick. Do things in, in steps. Stages, absolutely, you don't have to do everything at one time. Because it's like you crazy to be sloppy. Just because you can afford a Bentley at 22, that don't mean you get a Bentley at 22. Because okay. then what you're going to get at 32? Right. You, then, be, you ha then you uh, have nothing to do. Then you become doing things like the reason I left my husband. Because uh -huh. you have nothing else to do. You become bored. Okay. And that's what happens. So what what other thing, ups and downs that you go through as being a boss chick? I mean, this is Chicago. You holding it down, girl. Give me some time. Finding the right, finding the right mate. Okay. Because I'm, you know, I have a brand of my own, and people know who I am, and I want to make sure you're loving me for me, mm -hmm. not trying to come up with with me. Come, yeah, because men, come, are, it's some men out there trying to come up, but oh, they absolutely. get caught up. You get caught up absolutely. trying to come up, baby. You if you come. ain't genuine, it's gonna come out because she's protected with the blood of Jesus. There ain't no weapons on the blood of Jesus. But that's right. You can so you come with me, but I don't want you to come up. Uh -huh. I want you to come with me uh -huh. and, and see that's you know I, I don't go too hard just for someone just to come and think they just gonna take it away I, I feel you and also too intimidation sometimes men can be intimidated by the power of a boss shit yeah because you got so many women that allow them to do things and, and they settle I don't sell I don't I ain't selling either no, I'm in your butt you ain't getting away with nothing with me I don't have to have sex in my life like that. Mm -hmm. When you when you make sex a priority, then you begin to settle and take the bull mess for that the men dish out. Oh wow! And you find yourself saying, "Oh, it's okay, baby," or "You're gonna be late." Oh, okay. No, you, it ain't okay to be late. Because my lipstick is gone off by the time you late. And I don't like redo, redone lipstick. I know that's why. Right. You got to be on time if you want to shine. Now, how in the world are you? Now, the other day I was talking to you and you was like literally, I guess Rodney was driving. You was, was on your way to your son's basketball game. So you're running a restaurant, recently divorced, and now you're... You're training and raising up an athlete. He's so adorable. I ain't and he, he is so gorgeous. Yeah, he and I see him on Facebook. He's going to all these games. How are you able to handle that and handle a restaurant at the same time? It's, you know, with help like Rodney. Boss chicks all yeah. day. Yeah, with mm -hmm. help like Rodney and, and the, the, the sister of my daughter, which is 25 years old now. Okay. They helped me. And you look 25, me. girl. Thank you. They allow me, <laughs> they allow me to go out and still raise him as a mom. Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. So now you got the athlete. He's coming up. Now he going to get a big basketball deal. So I'm getting ready to interview him next. He's yeah. definitely going to be on one of my male episodes, okay? Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm definitely going to feature him. Now tell us about this new reality show you got. Girl, that is hot. This yeah. is so hot. I'm so proud of you. I just, I'm not going to cry. Cause don't I don't want to mess up my makeup. Don't make up. Don't mess up your makeup. But I'm very proud of you. Tell me what happened, P. How you get, um, how you get a reality show? A friend of mine came to me and had with an idea, and we, you know, we sh we we put it together. We wrote the treatment and everything. Mm -hmm. We shopped it. It took us a year and a half to shop it, and we got we get wow. blessed with a major network, mm -hmm. which we're spamming as we speak now, all the way to August eighth. Yay! We were air in September. That's so awesome. Yeah, we were air in September, right behind Housewives of Atlanta. I was. Yeah. 
I'm so happy for you. I'm yeah. so happy for you. I know we can't get all the details of what's going on, but I want you all to definitely keep your eyes out on Miss Paint. Now, do you have a particular website of all the, look at the fine men coming in the door. Y'all mm -hmm. don't want to come, I come. Yeah, I they tall too. That's a big Ooh, door right there, baby. Mm, look both like of them. Came, look like they came from the uh, NFL. I'm telling you, look at that with that big old yeah. booty. Yeah. Ooh. Hello, sir. Come here for one second, please. <laughs> Oh, look at this! So oh, look at this in that fail. And he thick Football too. Player. Ooh, yes! Look at look that. at him. <laughs> oh, baby. How y'all doing? How, how you doing? Yeah. I'm Peyton, the owner, hey, and I've been interviewed by Mercedes. She has a, 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 a TV a program where she interviews entrepreneurs and stuff like that. You just happen to walk in. You just like I know what you're doing. Pants himself. How you doing, sir? We see that. We see that. Oh, Try baby, it's so delicious. Try one. Please. Yes. yes. Absolutely. We just, yeah. Give us your honest opinion. Mm -hmm. But that's the best bruschetta you ever had, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Very good. You want to try it again? Keep, come here, come try one for me, please, okay. on camera. He, he like, I'm yeah, hi, hi, sweetheart. My husband, Keith. Hi, Keith. Yeah. Nice hi, Keith. to meet you. You hey, both are very you. handsome. If, if I stand right here, Keith, because you're blocking the camera, I want to put oh, you. Come so over here. To see you. Hubby, step right there. Let's try one. Oh. Tell you us what you think. Uh, it don't matter, baby. Okay, thank you. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love Michelle too. Look at him. I love Michelle. It is very delicious. I love Michelle. <laughs> Don't do that, boy. You <laughs> oh, so I want you all to keep it locked, keep it tight, right here on DVTV, because everything going to be all right. And check out our website at www.divatvmagazine.com. You got that? Well, I'm so excited. I I know you got some other stuff. I'm going to ask that one last question before I let you go because you're so busy. I'm just blessed to get your time and your brachettas. Well, I know you're doing something else. I, I know there's something else going on in your belt. Uh, Look at you. I'm moving to Miami. You are? You leaving? I am going to move. Never when? Uh, as soon as little George gets settled in college and stuff like that, this is his last year. Mm -hmm. As soon as uh, I'm going, I'm leaving at the end. I'm going to the film fest uh, in the uh, June. The BFL? Yeah. Okay. And, I'm, and I'm gonna uh, thank you. And I'm gonna uh, start looking. Uh, I'm gonna give me a boathouse. I'm gonna live on the water. Mm. I, I'm thinking about getting a little condo, a little small one bedroom condo. When the storm come, I could go in the house. Mm -hmm. But I am going to live on the boat. That sounds so fascinating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, what made you want to go to ABF? I go there all the time. No. Okay. Mm. Um. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Good night. Okay. Thank Good night, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a star, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. See you later. Bye, baby. Um. um I used to go all the time. So we look for the show online, we look under Mercedes. Mercedes Millionaire, DivaTVMagazine.com. Mercedes what? Millionaire. millionaire. With a Z. Uh, with a Z. Go write that, go write that down on the back. Okay. You sure? Okay. Mercedes with a Z. Mercedes Millionaire. Just put my name in YouTube. You'll see me with Tyler Perry, everybody. All right. Okay. Look. So you moving it? I ain't never seen you up there. I done been up there every year. So what yeah. you go? You gonna be the celebrity where they gonna be putting you on the panel and stuff? Mm -hmm. One of the big stars? I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a uh, judge for one of the shows. Oh, uh, for the for the uh, the what you what they call that? The the movie fest, or movie contest, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now they say this is supposed to be the biggest one this year. Yeah. I may go. It just depends on because I know the girls. They always put me on press. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I get a chance to interview everybody. But one year. I met Cicely Tyson. Mm. They had did one in California because you know they did a lot of them in Florida. Before Florida, it was Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Was it some island? No, it was Cancun. Cancun. Mm -hmm. So now they did one in LA and they did the carpet. And I had met Cicely Tyson, man. She was deep, man. Tyler Perry. I done met him like five times. Yeah, I love Tyler. He's so down to earth and cool. Yeah. I did some. I did a couple of spots, hair spots. Mm-hmm. Um, for better, for worse. Really? 
Now, two, uh, like a year and a half ago, I went to go see Tyler on the set. I was an extra. And then at the party, he saw me. And he walked up to me and said, hey, Diva, what's going on? And my boyfriend at the time was just almost passed out. Like, oh, my God, Tyler Perry knew you by your face. I'm your favorite host, Miss Mercedes Millionaire. And we're at 106 in Park and Universal Studios in Los Angeles, California. Yes. Tyler Perry with Diva TV. Diva TV is going to I love you talking wild. like the Diva TV. I done found the dawn up in here, Mr. Tory. How are you doing? You enjoying it? Are you I'm so you silly. Because of my presence. Because he's the guy. Because it's just such an honor. I used to watch 227 coming up as a nappy head little girl. And now I got some weave. <laughs> And now I'm here with Marla Gibbs on Diva TV, and I'm chilling with her now. How and I like, said, Whoa, what a fabulous God this is to create all this beautiful chocolate. And you are beautiful too. Thank beautiful you. Beautiful chocolate, Thank a little you. something. Thank you. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Why are you on Diva TV live after your TV awards? It's hot. It's hot. You better get that next year. Everybody party. I'm so excited. I love my Diva viewers. Right here. Yeah, New York fancy, huh? She fancy, That's huh? So she fancy, huh? <laughs> she fancy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... Everything, did, did. Hey, I you watch Seinfeld every freaking day. Tell the story. Yeah. This, where is your dad in there? He's gonna see this show. He watches it every day. Got a pretty oh, wife too. Right here on Diva TV, we're doing it like that. We're doing big things. Can't you see? Go to www. Diva TV Magazine. That's cop. We'll be right back. Yes. This is Tori. Oh, okay. There's no wrong with that. That's that's a good thing. Daytime is better than nighttime. Nighttime get a little kinky. We don't have time for that. <laughs> so what are the pearl right here? I know you remember because I, I I always enjoy interviewing you. Every time you always represent. Diva TV. Yeah. You look hey, what's up? This is Anthony fabulous. Hamilton inside with the Diva on Diva TV. I love you. You're you know, all out of school or something and be dumb. At least you'll know how to count your money or something if you're making it. You know. Making it to the top, all the way to the top. You need to go for the money and not the money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know.